like the Varus in this draft. I think it gives you a little bit more all-in power. Instead, they're going for the Cogmore. They're just going to invest in damage. I think I, on this, Sejuani is doing such a strong job of just continually forcing Kadro to make difficult decisions in his jungle. Chuck is going to trade onto Smitty J in the top lane. There's the grand challenge as well, trying to pop some balloons. And Smitty J continues the pressure. Here comes Pride up as well. There's the Hexagon Matum. Smitty J low, using the stopwatch, the TP from Vanda. Just needs a little bit more for that stun. Connects across the wall. Can Gus approach as well with a second. Chachi jumps in. Here's Kadro. Can he delay it? Sleepy Trouble Bubble comes in, and that's the first blood to shout. Smitty G in the game, and you can see that even with an extremely low damage per minute, he's still 20%, a fifth of his team's damage. He's trying, but unfortunately the team just isn't coming together. This team is not performing as a Kadrol, now using this as an opportunity to get some of his jungle back. He's tired of losing it all. He wants to get a little bit more fun. With pride. Josh is going to jump across. Kadrol does get it. Here is a Nibiu as well. Selfie. A slow up Chachi. There is the Goop coming out as well, the Cell Division, and Selfie really can't do too much here. Smitty J has teleported in, the Glacial Prison's gonna connect onto him, and Chachi gets one. Sleepy Trouble Bubble as well for the Drowsy, Smitty J dodges it out. Can he make a play against Chachi? He cannot! It's a double for Shell. And all in this top lane. On a Selfie, he has no flash. Right, straight on towards Selfie, here's the TP in as well. Now towards the bottom side, Selfie's put in towards the Egg, and this should be an easy enough secure for Shell. Get the Paddle Star comes out, Mute Duck gets himself a selfie. In the way we expected it to go, Shauka are just taking advantage after advantage. And I love the way in which they used the Zoka. He thought, wait, I've been here before. I can do it this time around. Unfortunately, he misses the ult, doesn't have flash, can't secure a kill. Sure, his respect. I thought he'd be a little more patient, just rely on the pressure from the rest of the team. But now, I promised you, maybe caught out. Looking for the unbreakable will here. Stunned up, does pop it, still stunned here. Sheriff from the side has the Runans and the Ginsu, so can put out a lot of damage if he's allowed to freely auto attack. Oh. Selfie just got egged. Kajal trying to stop it, but that egg is dead. Eventually, Vanda takes him out. Five to nil in favor of anything in this game. They've got two towers, good trading from them early on, but since then have not been able to secure. Right now, H2 can have zero pressure, and that's why they're conceding the third drink of the game. It looked like they might challenge for a second there, but now they are 5,000 dog fun and couldn't think of one. Look at the bottle lane, skirmishing again. <laughs> Smitty J trading in here with a grand challenge. Chachi puts down the Hex Egg Automated and Pride is on his way. He's going to jump across the wall. The healing on Smitty J is big, but the stun lock is going to come out. There's the teleport as well. Smitty J trying to escape until his team can join him. And Selfie's here to try and do something. The stun on Pride, the Seraphs as well. Chachi jumps in, but Smitty J is down. And now it's up to Selfie to try and 2v1. Upsets kill Kadrol on the other side of the map. It's the Selfie. Yeah. Looking at Chachi, is it the first one? No! No, H2K could not get a kill for G2. A couple of mistakes in the late game, a couple of outplays from Perks as well, really turned it around. But today against H2K, they've been patient, they've been safe. They have a 6,000 gold lead, they're about to get a Baron 25 minutes in. Which you think, oh, okay, maybe they've got enough CC to turn it around, but they don't. And now we see another fight in the bottom lane. Smitty J, you're not getting the 1v1 you want. But can he get a kill? He looks for Chachi, he can't quite secure it. 9 to nil for Schalke now. And then maybe Kabel's gonna jump in. Chachi has the flank here. They got one. They get the kill. And H2K get their first kill of the game. A round of applause for them. But now upsets just gonna open up on this Tristana. That's Kajal pops the stopwatch. Promised you caught out as well. Nuketuck jumping in from the side. Sleepy trouble bubbles abound. As Shauku are gonna clean up crew this fight. Selfie goes into the egg. This is gonna be gifted to upset as he secures the fight. She is Nuketuck who gets it. It looks like it is isn't of their entire team. Three out of eight, Venus. Three out of eight. Schalke on four. Ludens, Lee Andrews, Morello Nomicon at the 27-minute mark. Nuke Duck is on form. You've got Trinity Force and Sterax complete on Chachi. You've got triple items and a QSS on upset. All of these carries for Schalke and Nulfir are really on side. I was, I was wondering if I said that, because it doesn't seem like they're going to have them for too much longer. Smitty J is going to die. To Chachi, who is dominating, and Schalke trying to take a tower, It'll be the last inhibitor tower of the game to fall. And there it goes. Top lane inhib will go down as well. Schalke going to push in mid. Upsets bringing up a wave. Baron is just about to fall off for them as well. And we'll be looking for that mid lane inhibitor if they can get it. Get the clean sweep of all three. They end the game within a minute. They will actually have the fastest game of the split as well. So maybe another accolade that Schalke can add to their collection. There's the third in here. And they might just look for the closest. Mindy J still seven seconds away. Baron has ran out, so the siege will become a little bit harder thanks to the wave bit from Anivia, but I don't know if the wave could will be enough when you're at a 15,000 gold deficit. 
Shalka have their eyes set on the Nexus. Let's see how they... Oh, they're just going to keep throwing out that poke. They have so much poke. Wave's not in their favor, though, and they are just going to back away for the moment. Then they step forward once again. Maybe want to look down towards that Inferno Drake. Here's the wave down towards the bottom side. Glacial Storm was used. There's a Flash Frost as well with the Crystallized Wall coming out. But that tower is falling. Promiscu jumps in. Glacial Fish off towards the backside. Promiscu gets absolutely chunked. And Smitty J can't really do too much on this backline either. He's knocked away with the Buster Shot. Upset flashes for the kill. He's unstoppable as are Schalke as they look to close out this game. The first Nexus Tower is going to fall. The second will join it shortly after. And they don't have the fastest game of the split. But they've got a darn fast one to boot. Schalke Take it over H2K. Clean game from H2K. Oh, <laughs> from Schalke Nulfia, rather. H2K were able to secure themselves at least one kill down onto Vanda. But aside from that, they could do very little. Expectations were that K 